guys, Kat here, and we are on day 11 of our Barbarian Strong Challenge. So it is an Imam day, yay. That stands for every minute on the minute. We're gonna have five different exercises. At the start of each minute, you'll have that one exercise for a certain amount of reps. Once you finish, whatever time you have left in that minute is going to be rest if you have any time at all. And then at the start of the next minute, you're on to the next exercise to finish those reps. We're gonna go for five rounds today, so that's 25 rounds, technically 25 exercises. Remember to go at your own pace. Now we'll start out with a regular warm up and then we'll go through the movements together, which I want you to do with me so you have some nice muscle memory and you're ready for our workout. I think that's it. Oh yeah, and then go heavy. Go heavy, as long as you can keep perfect form, you can always drop the weight down. But we are here to push ourselves, we're here to get stronger, so let's do this. All right. All right guys, go ahead and bounce it out. Let's warm it up, crisscross those arms in front, and make sure you're relaxing your traps. So I want you guys to be very mindful today, making sure you're not tensing up on there during our exercises. <sighs> Gotta protect that body. Let's go for four, three, two, and one. Nice job. All right, feet out wide. We're gonna keep our chest up, push your butt back, and sink to one side. Working that lateral movement. Get in, man. Make sure you're pushing your booty back. And one leg is straight while the other one bends. You're not shooting that knee forward either. Let's go one more on each side. Last one. And go ahead, shaky, shaky, jumping jacks. Jumping feet out wide. Touching the hands at the top, no dinosaur arms. <laughs> That's not Jack. Jack would be so disappointed in us. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Shaky, shaky. All right, let's get right into some alternating back lunges. So when you do this, you want to step behind you and sink straight down. So we're not shooting forward. Go. Warming up those legs. Oh yeah. And that booty. <laughs> Let's go two more. Last one. And nice job. All right. So from here, let's go ahead and we're going to rotate. So we're alternating those legs, getting some awesome hip rotations in, getting that mobility, squeezing that core. All the way around, around we go. <laughs> oh, imams. I try not to think about it too much. So, <laughs> just staying present. So, imams really are very much a meditation for me. Just stay present. Don't worry about how many rounds you have left, how many reps. Let's go two more. Last one. And nice job. All right. So, from here, we're going to walk a forward, plank position. And let's press into that down dog and bicycle out the feet to get the calves. Hello, bicycle time. Bicycle, bicycle. Let's go two more. Last one. And shift forward and bring it back. So keep alternating. Keep that core strong. Hands under the shoulders. You're really warming up those shoulders, that core, and those quads. Let's go two more. Last one. And nice job. Come on down to the knees and let's step forward and then at different angles. So if you've worked out with me for a while, you know this move. This is a really nice check in with that body. Nice job, guys. And let's go ahead and switch legs. One side might be tighter. Again, take note of that. Remember, this is a video. So if you need to pause it and then go roll out, maybe do a little bit more mobility work before we get into the workout, it is worth it. It's worth taking care of that body. Let's go one more. And nice job. Side sit. So I have my left leg bent in front, right leg right in back. You can have your hands behind you. And we're just going to swivel side to side. I'm really warming up the hips. Oh yeah. 
So we're going to get that heart rate back up. Let's go two more. Last one. And nice job. All right, come on back up. Let's get you some butt kickers. Keep the booty in back. Drive the knees in front slightly. Keep that core strong. Get used to activating that core. Three, two, and one. All right, so toes facing out slightly. We're gonna get into some regular squats and then open up that chest, squeeze that back. Remember, you wanna act as if you don't wanna sit on a dirty toilet. So you wanna push that butt back, sink down, keeping your chest up back flat. And squeeze. Go ahead, guys. Go two more of them. Whew. Last one. And all right. Roll out the shoulders. Shoulder rolls. We're going to get into those movements soon. So you're all ready. And another shoulder one. We're going to have our arms out. And we're going to go up and over. Really reach with those fingertips. Whew. Yeah. <laughs> Are you guys ready? We're not yet. We're not yet. We will be soon. Three, two, and one. All right, let's finish our regular warm up now with some high knees. Drive it up, up, up. Again, keeping the core strong. Really drive it up, not here. That's not high knees. This is high knees. Oh, yes. Keep rocking, guys. Five. Four, three, two, and one. Okay, so let's go over the movement. Now, remember you can change the reps if you need to. Add some, uh, subtract some, whatever you need to do for your workout because everyone is in a different part of their fitness journey. So every day is a little bit different too. All right, we're gonna start out. You'll have 30 switch lunges, so do them with me right now. You're gonna switch, switch, okay? So that was two reps, don't worry. If you need to, you can always walk it out like we did in the warm up. Add weight if you want to. Then we have 16 alternating single leg deadlifts. I'm gonna grab my 30 pound dumbbells for this one. So let's practice without first. Keep your core strong, bend the knees slightly. Whoops, that is not it. I'm not changing that. I'm not editing that out. <laughs> Go ahead, come up. So you wanna think about having a slight bend in the knee. Hinge from the hips. Keep your back nice and flat. Okay, and you wanna to try to have your chest parallel to the ground. If adding weight is not an option for you because you're really struggling with that balance, don't add weight, you don't need to do that, okay? Then we have 30 skaters, okay? So, side to side, here we go here, over here, over here. If you wanna make it harder, tap down. You wanna make sure though, you keep your chest up in between reps, you're not down like this, okay? You're just gonna hurt your back in the long run. You can also walk it out if you're struggling. After that, 15 bicep curls. Not too bad, right? Really. So I probably will stick with my 15s here. Roll your shoulder blades back and down, palms up, squeeze, and then control it. Squeeze and control it. Right now, it might not seem so bad, but once we add all this together, and last but not least, you have 15 side plank dips each side. So. Hand is going to be under the shoulder. You can stack the feet. You're going to dip down and back up. Okay, you can stack it like this. Another option is to come here. Okay, if both, if all that is not great for you, you can always hold it and when I switch, you switch. Okay, so remember, it's 15 on each side. So, let's get started. All right. All right, guys, so once I click this, we're going to do those 30 switch lunges. Go your own pace. Three, two, one, let's go. I might not talk a lot, just so you know, because I'll be keeping my reps. <laughs> Keep your back flat, chest up. Keep it going, guys. Not too bad, right? <laughs> Sink down all the way, get the benefit of this entire movement. And that's where the burden really comes. Okay, so you guys can stick around with active rest if you want to, if you have time. 
or you can rest. 20 seconds either way. Get ready for. Whew, those things only deadlifts. <laughs> so those previews right there, right there. Remember your alternate end on this one. Bring it closer. Get ready to work your grip too. <laughs> Keep breathing. Just getting those hamstrings, glutes grip. Keep it up, guys. Stopping a little bit after those knees. There we go. Okay, skaters. I'm gonna place them over here. Okay, 30. Let's go. Keep it up, guys. Here to challenge ourselves. Try to hover that back leg. to those switch lunges then. Second round. Oh, be faster. Oh, I counted, right? <laughs> I have 15 seconds. And we are back to those switch lunges. Oh, man. Cold weather makes me so hungry. I don't think I'm the only one, right? Three, two, let's go. Keep it up. Oh my gosh, this is where it starts to get a little bit harder. <laughs> <Ooh. clears throat> 
definitely more challenging as we go on. So you'll start to feel loopy soon enough. I know you're excited about that. Whew. Okay, so 10 seconds. Single leg deadlifts. It's about 35, like 40 degrees here today. Makes us stronger. <sighs> See, I'm from Wisconsin, so I need to talk about the weather. <laughs> Keep going, guys. A bit windy today. Challenge yourself with those weights. Uh, you're gonna feel your core then, too. You're welcome. Oh. oh my. And done. Okay. Whew. Skaters, bad place to put these cat. <laughs> Bring your chest up in between. Keep going, guys. Bottom dollar, 
I'm gonna rest. <laughs> oh. This is fun. Okay. I love this. Super challenging. Super fun. Super califragilistic. Let's do this. <laughs> Three, two, let's go. Hinge. Keep it up, guys. I'm in it with you. as much. You might not feel that urge, but um, make sure you're still very conscious. What am I doing? <laughs> Preview cat knew what she was doing. Thank goodness. <laughs> I'm gonna be 
you right here if you need me. Single leg deadlifts are next. Oh, I'm gonna be feeling this later today, not even tomorrow. I love it. Freaking love it. Okay, you guys, get ready with that weight. Remember, you can drop it if you need to. Oh. If you start to lose form, drop the weight. Got this. Oh. I asked Justin if you want to work out with me today. <laughs> I didn't even tell him it was any mom. But he's scared of me. Okay. Oh. He's scared of working out with me. So funny. <laughs> okay, scares. Done for today. 
unless you want to do another round. You weirdo. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh. <clears throat> My heart rate says it's 69. <laughs> I'm 12. But also, I don't think it's that low. Okay. Let's go. Let's remember, wrist monitors are not that accurate.
close to the ground. Nice deep breaths. Bring it back to center. We're going to switch sides. So left knee in. Pull. Breathe. Again, relax the traps because it's really, really easy to heighten them. And then let's take that left hand to the left knee, right hand to the right hip. Pull. If you want a little bit more, you can press up. Again, keeping the, I just sounded like my dad. Again, <laughs> keeping your elbows in and relax those traps. Go ahead, slowly come down. Hands by that chest. Press out to the knees. Big toes together, knees out wide, sit back. I guess anytime I think I'm like speaking more intensely, I'm like, I am my father. <laughs> Go ahead and walk the hands forward. Let's slowly bring it up and come into a crisscross applesauce. Get some nice spine twists. So let's take that right hand to the left knee, left hand and back. Inhale, grow tall. Exhale, twist and turn, look over that left shoulder. Go ahead, slowly, slowly bring it back. Let's go the other side. Left hand to the right knee, right hand and back. Inhale, grow tall. Exhale, twist and turn. Slowly bring it back. Shaky, shaky. Left arm across the body and pull. Look over that left shoulder. Relax that hand. Try not to tense up anything we don't need to. Go ahead, shake it out on your side. Go ahead and shake it out. Nice job. All right, so let's get um, our spine. So what we're gonna do is relax our neck entirely. Pass the hands like here. Place in the back of the head, not the neck. Elbows in, tuck the chin, the chest, and slowly, very gently pull down. And then slowly, very, very gently roll up. One bird at a time and go side to side. Alright, so we're gonna head into our mini meditation. You guys are welcome to lay down if you want to. It's really, really important to strengthen our minds after we've strengthened our bodies and put them through all this. And this might be your only time to really just slow down and focus on you. Um, so I hope you stick around for this. Alright, so let's go ahead and Ah, nice go. Okay. <laughs> Hands onto the knees. Close those eyes. Big inhale. Exhale. Big inhale. And exhale. Really relax that body. Relax that jaw. Relax those traps. Relax those hips. 
You guys keep going through those breaths. Today we're going to talk about what we focus on because what we focus on grows. So if you feel a lack of something, whether it be a lack of money, lack of time, and that's what you are going to attract in your life. All right, now I want you guys to think about how you want to live your life. And I want you to say things as if you were already living that life. So say your normal monologue to yourself is that you don't have enough money. Say so we're going to change that around and we're going to say I have enough money. I am in abundance. Money flows to me. Maybe it's patience. That's a big one for me is that when I identify with not having a lot of patience, then that grows. And I notice this when I'm in traffic. There's a train that stops me. Instead of saying, oh, this is so bad, I just tell myself I am a patient person. And that calms me so, so much. So just remember that you create your journey, you create your life, you create your identity. How do you want to live? You can live like that. Just maybe picture yourself as being a certain way, as in like patience. And remind yourself that you can be whatever you want to be. So go ahead, big inhale, exhale. Big inhale, exhale. One more big inhale, exhale. Slowly open those eyes, clasp the hands in front, pull the shoulders in, big inhale. And then exhale, push back, push back, push back. We are done for today, yay! Thank you guys so much for joining me. I'm gonna come up to the camera and talk to you really, really close. We did it, you guys did it. We completed our crazy, awesome EMOM. This is the last one for this challenge, so you guys get a nice cardio break now, yay! well for a little bit yay um rather than that please do like the video before you go and also comments let me know when you started to get loopy for me it was pretty early this time um but both of those things really help out my channel it helps out this video a lot and youtube sees it and they're like oh well let's boost the algorithm because they like it they like it they like me and um if you haven't already don't forget to subscribe subscribing is awesome and it makes me happy so su subscribe yeah, and then for day 12, um, it is going to be a nice chest and hip stretch. And this is gonna be my new hip opening video because I did my other one in the past. And this is stuff that I've learned that has really opened up my hips even more and it's really helped me out with mobility and stuff. So I'm really excited to share this with you guys. Also chest opening because we all need it because we're all like this all day long. So um, yeah, rather than that, if you guys do like my outfit, it is from Women's Best. It is the camo set, and this is one of my favorites. It stays up the entire time, especially during these EMOMs and stuff. I really appreciate not having to hike my pants up. Um, but I wear a small in them. I took out the cups in this bra, so um, looks, it, you don't really see much there. Anyway, but anyway, um, it is from Women's Best. I do have a link in my description with a code as well, and if you use both of those, you get 20% off your purchase. So uh, that is... I am affiliate, like I'm, I'm part of the family of Women's Best and I'm really honored because I really believe in this company and this brand and everything. So if you guys want to pick up some new swag, this is what I'm wearing and it makes your butt look great. So rather than that, I will see you guys for day 12. Have an amazing rest of the day. All right?